I'm here in an elevator in a residential building kung saan ito na ang kasunod kong i-interviewin sa Corina Interviews. And palagi ko hindi nyo makuhulaan kung sino ang susunod kong kakausapin. Maraming nag-iisip na magkagalit kami. Hindi mo kami magkagalit. sa kaya nang galing yun? Gusto ko rin siyang tanungin. Ano bang feelings niya about me? Kasi ako, wala talaga akong pagkanega. And I'm kinda excited. Ewan ko lang kung mahuhulaan ninyo. Basta nandito na kami ngayon sa kanyang condo unit. And this is what you're going to now find out. Sinong susunod kong i-interview him. Excited much? And here we are. Hello! Hello! Oh. I am so... Oh. I am so thrilled. I can't believe it. Hindi nyo nahulaan, ano? Hindi nyo nahulaan. Grabe, tuwan-tuwa ako. Thank you for being here. Wow. It's like a museum. Thank you. Wow. You also have a lot of artwork. Oh, alam naman. Hindi maganda. Ano, floor to ceiling? Ano, floor to ceiling? I can't believe it. Hindi ko ako makapaniwala na nandito si V. Corina Sanchez. Okay. Okay. Kita nyo na, nag-host na siya, di ba? Sabi ko, cut muna, wala pa kaming ilaw. And wow, Karen Davila is in the house! Oh, wow! I'm sure hindi nila nahulaan. Hindi nila nahulaan at kahit ako, <laughs> hindi ko to na-imagine. <laughs> oh, di ba? I know I worked with you for so long, but it's just so different that you're here interviewing me. I swear. Correct. Maybe I thought about it, but naisip ko, can that ever happen? And look, oh, kita eto mo na. na. Ah, oh, eto na yon. <laughs> hindi nyo nahulaan, di ba? Kasi masyado kayong maraming iniisip, pero problema nyo na yon Okay, di ba? Oh, mamaya ang mga juicy na mga tanong kay Karen. Dito muna tayo sa kanyang pinagsimulan. Live mula sa ABS-CBN News Center, Manila, Julius Babao, Ed Filon, at Karen Davila. Ito ang TV Patrol World! Inaanod ng karahasan at karumaldumal na pangyayaring ito ang ating pananalig sa batas. Nagpapatrol Henry Omagdia. Siyempre, nakilala si Karen, broadcaster na, di ba? Parang uh, interviewer, mga tao takot sa kanya. Sa'yo. <laughs> sa akin muna. Sa'yo. Tapos yung medyo tumandatanda na ako sa kanya na sila takot. Okay, so, so they know her as a journalist and... Um, wala masyado kasing nakakaalam, siguro umiiwas ka sa mga interview, mm. kung saan talaga yung pinagmulan, right? Anong kabataan mo? Oh, oh. Probinsya ba o Manila o saan? Actually, Corina, so I grew up in a very middle class family. I lived in a village in Paranaque and I think, I don't know, a few streets away, Ah, uh, doon ka rin nakatira. Yes. Yes. Oh, so wow. we grew up Teka in muna. the same village. No. What many people don't know, I can say your village. Merville. Yes. So I grew up in Merville Paranaque. Oh. And what I want to tell um yung mga viewers natin. So um nung bata kami, I didn't know Corina yet, but I knew her brother. So her brother who passed away was Ramon. Ramon. And siya yung crush ng bayan in Merville. Oh wow. So isa lang ako sa mga nandun sa village na oh wow, si Ramon Sanchez, ang guwapo niya. Ang guwapo niya. <laughs> I've said this in some school talks no when I want to inspire students is uh, during the time that Ninoy Aquino died, I remember so I was maybe 12 years old, dun ko unang naramdaman yung hirap ng pamilya ko. Kasi we were always middle class. We weren't wealthy, but we weren't poor either. Kasi nag-aaral na ako noon sa Culeo San Agustin. Then I remember my father stopped working, and my mother wasn't working, and marami in our village, yung kapitbahay namin, were selling their homes at lumilipat sa probinsya. Mm. So that was the first time 
I felt na ang hirap. I remember noon, that's when it started. In my teenage years, yung, yung parents ko, um, sinanla yung isa naming sasakyan. Umabot sa ganon. Umabot sa ganon. Hirap sila magbayad ng tuition sa eskwelahan. And I was in San Agustin. And none of my close friends knew just what a hard time we were experiencing. Paano iginapang ng parents mo? So, um, yung nanay ko magaling sa maliliit na negosyo. And I also had uh, titas who were very committed to us, to helping us. And kahit papaano kasi, my parents, my dad, and my mom, even if we had financial hardships, masipag sila. So it was very difficult. So after noon, so high school, na itawid, kumbaga from second year, dun ko naramdaman yun eh, second year high school to fourth year high school. So from then on, um, I applied in college, and um, I wanted nung una to be a fashion designer. Then sinabi nga nung tatay ko, kasi mahilig na ako mag-drawing, sabi niya, ano ka ba? Pag hindi ka sobrang magaling dyan, ang hirap ng buhay mo. Huwag yan. Totoo. Ay, may opinion <laughs> siya sa fashion industry talaga. Kung hindi ha? ako ganun daw kagaling. Oh. So tinanong ko noon sa tatay ko, I remember, what, what, what can I take up in college? So I took up mass communications only because number one, mahina ako sa math. <laughs> Kasi isa Pareho lang, kami, isa oh. lang ang math, di ba? Uh -oh. Pag mascom, isa lang ang class. And then, I passed both Ateneo and UP. Um, I, I wanted to go to Ateneo then because my classmates were in Ateneo. But then, I felt pag nag-Ateneo ko, maghihirapan pa yung mga magulang ko sa tuition. So, nag-UP ako. This is the interesting part. I never thought, even nung nagmamascom ako, I would be a broadcaster. Hanggang nagmamaskom ako, ang pangarap ko nun, maging fashion designer. Um, it was a professor that told me, alam mo Karen, pwede ka mag-broadcaster. Mm. Hindi ako nanunood ng news noon. Mga uh, early 90s, so I started to, to watch. And na, ang sikat na sikat noon was si Lauren Ligarda, Cheche Lazaro, at ikaw. Oh, wow! Hoy Gising! Oo, oh, ah, hoy Gising, hoy gising. noon! So, si Talaga namang dated ako, <laughs> dated! But, Talaga, oh. you, But you're part of everyone's uh -oh. history, her story. Oo, oh, oo. Oh. Diba? Oh, oh. So, nung pinanood ko nun, I remember this. I bet you, you would never know this because when I entered ABS, masyado kang nakakatakot noon. So, hindi kita naman makausap. Nakakatakot po siya talaga noon, ha? Teka huwag i-deny. Sandali lang. At huwag ikat. <laughs> huwag hindi ikat. Hindi natin ikakat. Uh, okay. So, I remember, oh. so, so si Lauren Legarda was doing The World Tonight. And um, I knew Lauren because I was friends with her younger brother. Right. Friends lang ba? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yun ay, oh, buntik na niyang maging sister-in-law, <laughs> si Lauren, yeah, so, oh, another revelation. Ay, college years to. Uh -oh. So, pinapanood ko si Lauren, pinapanood ko si Cheche, si Katpanoon ng Probe Team. Tina Palma also. Tina Palma time. was GMA7 yes. na boss. Uh -oh, More uh -oh. of boss and newscast. Right. So, parang it was really the three of you na nakikita ko. And I said, wow, um, sabi ng professor ko, you can be a news, ano, news person, you, like a news journalist. So I started to watch more news. Tapos, I remember the first time na pinanood kita sa Hoy Gising. To be fair naman, you were very young. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, and I remember cool. saying, grabe, ang ganda ng anchor na ito. Hmm? Yes. Pakita ka ng picture ko you dati. You must have been in your 20s. <laughs> you must yeah. have been in your 20s. Oh, oh. So I was maybe... Fetus ka pa nun, fetus. Oh, sige okay. na nga. Oh. 17, 18, mm -hmm. di ba? So, after that, after college, um, I had to apply for a job kasi I knew I had to, you know, support my family as well. Bagamat may negosyo yung nanay ko and my dad, we had a younger brother. So, I applied for a job. So, the first job I applied in was Channel 5 and I auditioned and I was rejected. Mm. So I didn't get that job. I was too scared to apply in Channel 2. Kasi this was the height of ABS-CBN. Yung lahat ng nandun, sobrang <laughs> sikat. So hin wala kong lakas ng loob na mag-apply. 
Ang lakas talaga ng ABS noon. Noon, I would say... Right 90, after... 93, 94. Yes, yes. Right after Grabe. the revolution. Oh, oh, Grabe. So, oh, oh. hindi ako nag-apply in ABS-CBN Channel 2. And I remember noon, I was um, uh, AA then, Lawrence Brothers said, mag-apply ka sa sister ko kay Lauren ah, sa Inside Story. Yes. I believe yun ang show oh, oh. niya. And Lauren told me, um, ayaw niya because then, baka naman, Baka naman lang pagalitan lang daw niya ako. <laughs> Di ba? So, hindi na tuloy yun. And, ah, sabihin na natin, kasi totoo kasi siya nga yung girlfriend ng kapatid. <laughs> Ayaw niya na magiging empleyado ka niya. O, tapos. Anyway, so, ang nangyari noon after, nag-apply ako sa ANC na sa Rimanok noon and Business Today na GMA7. So, natanggap ako both. 8,000 pesos ang sweldo sa Sarimanok, 5,000 sa Business Today. Kinuha ko yung Business Today kasi I felt mas national mm-hmm. ang coverage. Mm-hmm. And I felt there were more opportunities. Mm-hmm. So that was my first job, GMA7. Ay, yung pala yung pinagmula ng ano, ng uh, yung business show mo, di ba? Yun yun. Yung, ano, yung uh, business today. Business Pero yung today, may puhunan. Tsaka yung may puhunan. Ay, yeah. Ganon. Oh, oh. Doon pala nagsimula yun. Yun yun. Magandang araw. Ako po si Karen Davila. Samahan niyo po kami. Kung kaya nila, kaya niyo rin. Tara na't umaman sa may puhunan. Talagang na- nagdire-diretso ka na sa pamumuhunan, tsaka negosyo. Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay, and then... Yeah. So after noon, I stayed in GMA7 for maybe six and a half years. And I would have to say, Corina, that I am so grateful I started there kasi maganda ang training in GMA7. They gave me all the breaks and I was able to grow and hone my craft. And nakatrabaho ko doon sina Jessica Soho, Arnold Clavio. Alam mo yun, yung mga kasamahan natin na... Um, at that point, baguhan ako, so talagang I really looked up to them. Mm-hmm. And then at one point, I just wanted to expand my wings. Kaya um, I let, uh, I remember, uh, the late Arlene De Castro know mm-hmm. that I was willing to move to ABS-CBN. Kung hindi ka natakot noon, hindi ka na masyadong takot. Yeah, this was the year 2000. Mm-hmm. So I was, I think, maybe 29 or 30 years old. Doon ako lumipat ng ABS. I've been in ABS-CBN for 22 years now. Wow. wow. Let's face it, Corina, you're still young. I mean, I'm still young even if, I don't mean it literally, pero in the industry, we have many more years to go. So dapat, you have, other than adaptability, there has to be humility on everyone in the industry because the landscape has changed. Correct. Social media has equalized everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Diba? Totoo. Oh, oh. oh, lahat ngayon pwede maging newscaster, no? <laughs> Hindi na tayo pwede magyabang. Dati kami lang yun. Kami lang yun talaga. Pinapanood ng lahat. Aba ngayon, naku, lahat, 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 lahat. pwede nang maging newscaster. Mas magaganda pa sila sa amin. <laughs> Ito ang mga bagay na hindi ninyo alam about Karen, right? Actually, I don't know why. Are you very private? You don't really talk about your personal life too much, right? Yeah, not really. Hindi, pero hindi rin naman kasi ako noon artistahin. <laughs> oo, oo, oo. You know what I mean? Um, I would have to say, I think, uh, palaging, I mean, in ABS-CBN sometimes, in the past, no, parang we would be boxed into a certain mold. So, minsan lagi noon sinasabi, ay, social ka, ganito ka. Um, you understand me, Karina, because mm. you, you've been there. When you're, when you're boxed into a certain um, stereotype. So, that's when I also felt that I wanted to share more of my story and who I really am. Mm. Because sometimes, I think people make judgments based on how we look. Like, let's say, ikaw. Pag nakita ka, ganyan ang itsura mo, ganyan ang dating mo, iisipin ka agad, mataray ka, matapang pa ka. Pero iba pag nakilala mo yung tao. And it's now easier because may social media may social na. May social media. So that's one. Ayun. Yun. Pag nakikita ko nga yung post ni Karen, sabi ko, 
Parang may tea si Karen sa bahay. Ay. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to a day in my life. Hello everyone, it's Wednesday. I'm Karen Davila working from home. Kasi frustrated <laughs> artist ako, di ba? So I could have been a fashion designer, an interior designer, but so, so are you. Yes, I, mean, I grew I've up. seen your yes. uh, your photos and yes. and features of your home. Right. I do yeah. my own furniture. Oh, di ba? Eh, kasi baka hindi alam ng tao, yung mother ko was a singer and also an interior decorator. Kaya you can sing. A little. Uh, yeah. Wal walang sample, ha? <laughs> hindi ako ang Kaya guest dito ngayon. Sing. Tsaka na yung concert ko, pakiabangan. <laughs> okay. So when I came in, wow. Talagang mahilig ka sa art. You're a homemaker. Yeah. You're well, homemaker. actually, I'm not a typical homemaker because hindi po ako marunong magluto. Although yung nanay ko ang galing magluto kasi kapampangan siya. Oh. Pero masino po ako sa bagay, magaling po ako sa pera, matipid po ako. Kumbaga, hindi ako masayang. Mm. Yun yung naituro sa akin. Ayun, yeah. tinuro sa iyo Yeah. I would think uh, Ilocano ang nanay mo. No, Hindi. no, no. Pero, because my mother was one out of 12 and mahirap sila. So, tinulu my mother didn't even graduate college. Unlike my dad who was a bit landed, well landed, kasi Tirol Davila sila. Pero sa nanay ko natutunan yung sinabi ng nanay ko, Karen, kahit wala kaming maipamana sa iyo na lupa, pera o alahas, basta magtapos ka ng pag-aaral mo, you can achieve all your dreams. And I believed it. Ayun. And I believe that to be oh. true, Corina. Oo naman. Oo, diba? Totoo naman Oo. yun. Wow, you know, we have so many things in common, Karen. I would have to say, because I've read also your history. Yes. You're inspired with your mother. Oh, oh. You also support your family. Yes. You're very hard And she put all her kids oh. through, see? Uh, her siblings through school. And mabuti kang ate. At kapampangan din siya. Oh. Oh. Diba? Tapos sa Merville tayo See? pareho lumaki. I oh, told you, lang alam mo, how destiny works. Diba? Oh. I didn't know that. This is a surprise to me. Oh, and now, Vicarina Sanchez talking to Karen Davila. In her house. Oh, oh diba? <laughs> okay, let's talk about you as, well, a wife because you fell in love. Yeah. Nakailang boyfriend ka? Naman, hindi marami. Hindi. <laughs> Ako, sasabihin ko talaga, nakailang ba? Ako, uh -huh. naka, I think, apat na serious. I would say two serious, ah. including DJ, but I did have boyfriends, maybe, uh, uh, mga four. Mga ganun. Mga ganun din, four or five. Meron pala siyang mga hindi serious. <laughs> Kasi, okay. <laughs> iba naman ng serious today. Okay, diba? iba, well, uh -oh. mas bata siya sa akin. Yeah. Ako manang ako talaga, so anyway. Okay, so finally, bakit si DJ? You know, I met DJ in GMA7, so he was, uh, he was working with a news desk. And uh, I think what appealed to me about DJ was he was very quiet and he's very opposite of my father. I'm like my father, but um, my dad's still alive and I love him, but it was a very hard time growing up with my dad. And he's really opposite of my dad. So DJ is more tahimik siya, he's steady, uh, he's um, reliable. You know, that kind. Soft-spoken. Soft-spoken. I think I fell in love with DJ first. We have two children. And I would have to say that um, through the good times, the bad times, it hasn't been easy all the time, you know, but I don't think any man would love me the way DJ loves me. DJ and I, uh, we don't have what you call a typical marriage in the sense of... Um, Time is expected because we both grew up, so to speak, in the newsroom. So when DJ was news director in ABS-CBN, I was also working full time. You were working full time. Alam mo naman yun, Corina. You have no control of the news desk's time. So I remember noon nung nanganak ako kay David Cesarian, kay Lucas Cesarian. Dalawang linggo palang Corina, bumalik na ako sa newscast. 
And, ay, dumudugo ka pa nun. <laughs> Paano yun? Kung okay, hindi naman dumudugo na, no? Two weeks, nag-heal na yung cesarean wound. Pero you are not your best, right? Bloated ka pa nun. You, I felt weak. Mm. And I went back, and I went back to work. I would be doing four shows, right? And then, uh, so, uuwi ako 1, 1.30 a.m. Magigising ako 5 a.m. Kasi may anak din ako. I would say din, then may anak po oh, ako. Oo naman. You'd have to check. Papasok sila sa school. Oh. Mas maliliit sila noon. And this was the height, Corina, of my acid reflux. Na I did not know what it was. I would go on air in Bandila na wala akong boses. Oh. Yun pala, I had a bad case of acid reflux. Bird. And you didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't understand. So it took so many years when I found a voice doctor. The voice doctor said, you would have to quit your late night newscast. You cannot do it. You have to sleep. Sleep heals the voice. I can't afford it. Hangga, dapat talaga, gawin ko muna ito. So imagine the tragedy and um, I don't know if you can relate. I don't think you've ever had this problem. Ah, uh, no. Kasi narinig ko kumakain ka pa ng chichiria daw sa TV Patrol. Ay, kaya naman ako nabulunan. <laughs> nabulunan, Just, pero nako. sabi nila, Karen, si Corina, kumakain pa yan ng chichiria tapos biglang magbabasa. Mm -mm. Sabi ko, My gosh. Nabulunan ako on air. Ano ka ba? Nandyan yan sa internet. Nandun? Oo. Ako yung nawawala noon. It was very tragic. Ang dami noon. Yeah. And so, yes. So, so, alam mo, hindi alam ng tao yan. Ha? Yeah. Uh, na you went through that kind of depression yeah. and that kind of uh, health situation. I was so depressed. Your voice. Eh, puhunan po namin yan. Yeah. So, ano ang resolution noon? So, is it better now? I would have to say it's improved a lot, but because there are so many things I cannot do. It's also taught me to accept, Corina, who I was. Kumbaga kasi there were many times I wanted to be better. I wish I could be like you, like Lauren, like whoever. But then in a way, it taught me through the years that Karen, you can't be anyone else but you. Correct. You have to... Mm. You have to accept what's been given you. You have to love who you are. You have to make the best of what you have. Mm. And you have. Nax. Ano ba? One of Asia's most influential and powerful. Nax. And your roster of awards. It's... Mabigat na ang mga eskaparate mo rin. <laughs> Alam mo yung nasabi nila, you stay long enough in the industry, you'll win everything. Exactly. <laughs> Totoo <laughs> naman yun. <laughs> uh -oh. Oy, pero hindi lahat, ha? Hindi, yeah, hindi, hindi lahat. lahat, hindi lahat. Eh, hindi ka naman nagsisisi na ito pa rin ang profession na pinili mo, hindi ka naging fashion designer. No, I would have to say talaga that I believe that there's a purpose for my life. I mean, like you, you're gifted with the gift of communicating. I feel also the same way. Mm -hmm. I feel that this is where we are supposed to be. Ano pa ba yung mga hindi masyadong alam ng tao about Karen? Well, now you know that she's a homemaker. And why she chose DJ to, <laughs> to marry. And ito ngayon, ang kanyang special and lovable child, David, which to her, and that she also went through depression. But David. Yeah. David. David I, is a big part of your life forever and ever. ever. And so, ako, I would have to say that um, the biggest challenge, the hardest struggle sa buhay namin sa buhay ko is David. So, uh, David was born in 2002 and at two and a half years old, he was diagnosed as being in the autism spectrum. Pero hindi ko alam may autism siya. So, nung maliit si David, ang cute-cute niyang bata pero hindi nagsasalita, walang eye contact, hindi ako tinatawag na mommy, daddy, wala. Nothing. So, si David noon, um, he was very quiet, pero biglang nagwawala. Nanununtok ng mga uh, yaya. Sinabi ng friends ko, I think there's something wrong with him. And I said, no, ano lang yan? Um, yung tatay niya, tahimek, si DJ, tahimek, ganyan lang yan. And when David was diagnosed as being in the autism spectrum, alam mo, Corina, mga dalawang linggo, iyak kami ng iyak ni DJ. Kasi sinabi ng doktor noon, 
there's no cure. And what I did was go to foreign doctors who actually gave a different treatment for autism. And it was a committed lifestyle of change. And see, David today is not the same person. When you have a child with autism, Corina, you are committed. It is unconditional love. Because David today, he is present in the moment. He speaks, you'll meet him later. But he was not that way before. So many parents, like ikaw, you're a mother, you feel so fulfilled na kinakausap ka ng anak mo. Mm -hmm. I didn't experience that. Oh, oh. I, I can imagine not. the pain. That's I did painful. Because oh, oh. ikaw, I see your videos. Mm -hmm. You joke with your kids, they answer back. I did not have that experience with David. Our life was David the whole time. And then six years after, Lucas was an accident, a pleasant accident. And I was very scared. Why? You only wanted one child? Because I was very scared na mamaya, yung autism ay galing sa akin or galing sa asawa ko. So I baka didn't, maulit. Oh, baka maulit. And I'm sure many parents watching right now, they would have that fear. So, nung nabuntis ako the second time, kaya ang laki ng agwat nila, Corina, six years, please, mahal na mahal ko si David, pero sana, ang anak na ito, ang batang to, ito na yung tutulong sa amin, in the family, with David. So Lucas turned out to be, we say it now, a typical child. Ngayon, uh, si Lucas is the one na binilinan ko na that you have to take care of your brother. One day, if me and your dad, you know, are not there anymore, you have to be the one na dapat kakampi niya. Ano, ano nga yung rated kay, ano mo? Kaibigan, kabalitaan at kakampi. Yon. Kaibigan o walang hindi kabalitaan, pero kamalites. Kabal yes. <laughs> at kakampi. So in the very essence, I told Lucas, that has to be him. Mm. Yan. That's really, really important. Yeah. That's really important. Lalo habang bata pa, alam na niya kung ano dapat siya sa kanyang kapatid. So, so tingin mo, is that one of your biggest fears that you... Leave him too early? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, believe me when I tell you, I have fear sometimes that if I'm gone early, na, of course I pray and I know that I will stay with them for a long time. Yeah. What about that near-death experience? Muntik na sabi mo, bawi anang buhay si David. Yeah. 2019, uh, DJ and I came from Sorsogon, and David is always excited. Lali, lagi yung, Mommy, when are you coming home? Mommy, who are you with? Very conversational. He's, he's a very sociable boy. So, sinalubong niya kami sa lobby ng aming condo. So, yakap, yakap, hawak niya yung maleta ko. So, si DJ, wala pa, nakatayo siya, and then I was standing, and I saw from afar si David was standing, and nagumanto na lang. Mm -mm -mm. So I could see from the back. Tapos biglang nahulog. Nung nahulog, so I said, David! So I went there. Yung mata niya is, how do you say that? Umiikot-ikot. Umiikot-ikot. Uh -oh. And then nangingisay. If I lost my son, I would accept it. That's not a moment you think you can do, huh? Mm-mm. When uh, I felt at that moment I could lose David, that he could be taken away, nothing is ours. So ako, I would say, you only realize when people you love, you can lose. I mean, don't get me wrong. Um, I think many of us are prepared to lose a parent or even a husband or a wife, but not a child. I think that's the hardest. I can't imagine. You cannot, yeah. I cannot imagine. Mm -hmm. So that was that time. I would say, Corina, that was a life-changing moment for me. That was the life-changing moment for me when David was about to die and we were able to rush him to St. Luke's. Huh? But then after that, buti na lang it was in time. So it was a recommitment to David. So when people ask me, is your commitment to your son's autism for life? It's for life. Corina, it is for life. 
There is no, you know why David had a seizure? Because for some years, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna admit, medyo I became a bad mom dito. I let him cheat with food. He was eating fast food. He was eating junk. Because may kapatid siya who was doing it. So minsan naaawa ako, di ba? Kawawa naman, pakainin mo na. And it was DJ who'd say, Han, di mo ba nakikita? Pag pinapakain mo ng ganun, he, he's scratching his himself more. When the seizure happened, Corina, from that time on, the recommitment, no, no compromises, no shortcuts. But then, it's the person I am today. I don't think I would be this person today if not for that moment in time. The discipline that life has imposed yeah. on you. And you know, Corina, it's also the humility. Eh? Mm -hmm. That was the first time we're in... You are not, I wasn't in control, control. of anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I feel that has changed me mentally, spiritually, emotionally. And I would never cry because today, no, now that I'm 51, I wouldn't cry because of work. I think you and I have been there. When ini iyaka natin ang trabaho. Ay, hindi na ngayon. Hindi na ngayon. Sila na ngayon ang pinapaiyak ko. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, ayoko na. <laughs> Tapos na tayo doon. Oh, Tapos na yun. Correct. But now, it's it's people we love. That's the humble You know why? Life. Because that's what really matters. Yeah. In the end. That is. Which leads me to my next question. About all this, it, lahat itong mga pinagdaanan sa karera. Bakit sa palagay mo pinag-aaway nila tayo? Eh kasi naman ikaw yung reyna. No, I... <laughs> Teka muna, wag mo muna sagutin. Sandali lang, kakain pa tayo ng salad. Oh, wow. wow. So wait, are you a healthy eater? Um, okay. Di ba you went on keto for a long time? I'm a healthy eater if yeah. I have to. Pero uh -huh. I should be healthy all the time. Tama? Yes. Okay. Ay, naku, yeah. mahirap. Ako, Pag meron ng lechon dyan, ewan hard. ko oh, na. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay, alright. Oh, salad. So wait, I have, this is good, ah. Okay, meron siya. And then I have flourless. Yung ginagawa niyang salad kanina, eto yes. na. Yes, ayan yun. So this is, okay. ano, this is flourless chocolate cake. It's gluten-free. We which is good one. for David. Which is good for David. Correct. So, ito, you like fruit. this. Oh, this is pomelo salad with cashew nuts and carrots. Wow, okay. Oh, shall we? Tayo. Kakain okay. tayo. Okay. Kung makakakain ka. <laughs> Kung makakakain ka. Okay, pero bago yan. Wow. Ha -ha. Kailangan nyo maghintay sa mga tanong ko. Dito muna tayo sa salad. May I wow, serve? Thank you. Thank you, dear. Ayan. This is thank you. one of my favorites. I don't know why she knows. Talaga? Oh, no, really. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, oh, good. I love it because parang hefty, yes. flavorful. And we put shrimp. Oh, oh we yeah. put shrimp. And then I don't know. This is ano? This is Antonio's pineapple mustard dressing. Ayan. Okay. So para lahat tayo kung makain kung mak yun nga. Oh. Kailangan yung maghintay para sa mga tanong ko. Habang umunguya kami, hihintay niyo yung mga tanong ko sa kanya. So, ang tanong ng bayan, mm. talaga ba, Corina, i-interviewin mo talaga si Karen? Oh, And sabi ko sa kanila, bakit? Ano pang problema niyo? So, ito no, matagal na itong pinag-uusapan. Ako naman, tuwing ito lalabas sa mga usapan, parang, what? No. I don't know where you're getting that. So, sabi ko, Saan nyo ba nakukuha yan? Bakit ba ang tingin ninyo magkagalit kami ni Karen Davila? Yun. Mm, oh, sige, ikaw nga, sagutin mo nga yun. I ako, think, may sagot ako dyan. No, I, I think, uh, may sagot ka dyan. Yes, may sagot ako no, dyan. No, ang feeling ko, because um, siguro nga, I mean, work-wise, parang it was such a competitive environment mm -hmm. where we used to work. Mm -hmm. So parang they would always uh, pit people against each other, right. perhaps. Yung... Mm -hmm. Uh, it would be that, um, uh, let's say, after Corina, nandiyan si Karen. Uh -huh. So, you know, napakahirap rin yun for any woman. Mm. Ah. Any woman. Kasi nga, you feel minsan um, either um, may hinahabol ka or hinahabol ka. You, you understand? So, yes. No, but they're designing the race. Yeah. It's everybody yes. else. It's everybody else. Yes. It's a, yeah. I agree with you. Mm. Kasi I would have to say nga, um, and I mean this, like from the bottom of my heart. Um, one, I, uh, ako sa pananaw ko, isa sa mga nasayang na panahon ko sa ABS-CBN is yung hindi kita nakilala doon. I'll be honest. I mean, of course, you were very busy. Oh, oh no? Yeah, but I feel 
it was lost opportunity. I mean, I think for me, for both of us, I wish Ito I yan. had gotten to know you then. Even even as a mentor, ha? or meaning even mm -hmm. somebody who was much senior than me, but that whole experience, I mean, of of getting to know you, because we never got to do that. We never got we to never. do that. I think, una, sobrang busy. Sobrang o, busy. Diba? Sobrang busy. Yeah. Iba-ibang schedule natin. Uh -oh. I mean, it's not like nakakahuntahan ko ng madalas yeah. si Bernadette or even Lauren. Yeah, yeah. Uh, talaga nakakausap ko lang si Ted kasi siya yung partner ko. You were together ko. all the time. Oo, oh, oh, diba? Hindi so, ka niligawan ni Ted. Ever? Hindi ba show ko to? Bakit ako Parang yung tinatanong? Parang sa tagal ninyo ni Ted. <laughs> sa tagal ninyo ni Ted together. Or may asawa na ba si Ted noon? Hindi may siya asawa nagka... na siya Pero noon. Pero ah, nung na-meet mo siya... May asawa ah. na siya. Si Ted, 12 years old pa lang. May asawa <laughs> na. Ano ba? Hindi eh, ba? So, when well, that's one thing mm. na sobrang busy. Tapos, naunahan pa ng... Ay, Ay nako, ang, pum oh, oh, ang pumalit kay Corinne. Ah, si Karen. Yeah. So, baka galit si Corinne kay Karen. Mm -hmm. Actually, hindi ah. Yeah. Ito, desisyon ng management yon nung pinalitan mo ako sa TV Patrol. And every and yeah. there was nothing. Remember when Mar ran? Yeah. I even invited you? Yeah. And wala talaga yon Kasi desisyon talaga yan ng mga boss namin nung mga panahon na yon. Eh, pero ayan na, naunahan na ng mga intriga dito, intriga doon, intriga doon. Eh, tapos hindi pa tayo magtagpo sa schedule yeah, natin. Yeah, yeah. And I so, think we didn't know each other well. Oh, so, I think that's mm -hmm. also a factor. Correct. Hindi, tayo mean, sabay that, yeah. hindi tayo sabay nagsimula eh. Oo. Oh, oh. I correct. think kasi if you don't know each other, you also tend to, I think, respond to your fears and also listen to other people, right? And remember when I replaced you in TV Patrol 2004? Mm -mm. Napakahirap nun for me because I was, I kumbaga, I had not, I felt, I wasn't ready for TV Patrol then. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think I, I told you that, I mean, I'm not sure if you remember. But um, I, I was, I think, 34. I felt I, I was too young for TV Patrol then. But then after six years, by 2010, I remember that when management told me you were coming back and Kabayan was coming back. And do you know, um, that's when I understood. I mean, I didn't, because I felt, I felt it's par for the course. I mean, of course, malungkot ako noon, but eh, kung nangyari nga kay Corina, alam nga naman magreklamo ko na mangyayari sa akin. Well, you, you understand? Yes. So feeling ko, ba't ako, ba't ako magre-reklamo? Eh, kay Corina nga nangyari yun. She was on the top of her game. And then ako, uh, if she comes back, parang what, spare, what makes it any different? That's how I felt. Correct. It's true. I'm so happy that you think that. Yes. Kasi ganun din ako eh. Parang yung, alam po ninyo sa news, talagang ganun yun. Isa lang ang newscast na prime time. Yeah. At pwede musical chairs yan. Pwede yeah. yung magpalit-palit ng kung sino-sino, wala kang magagawa. Dahil lahat po kami empleyado. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I think the, the, the really best thing is to just um, shine wherever you are. Lalo na sa panahon ngayon, Karen, ibang-iba na. Yeah. Kanya-kanya right? talaga ang uh, gimmick. <laughs> Ganun na lang ang tawag namin. Korea. Uh, so, ngayon, so, ngayon, ang TV, anong tingin mo? Ang TV ba talagang nawawala na yan? Uh, That's what they say. TV yeah. is on its way out. Do you agree? I think viewing habits have definitely changed. Mm -hmm. In many parts of the world, na talagang ang internet is everywhere and costs very little, talagang they really watch online. Ayun. Yeah. Although TV kasi is a point of viewing. If you want to watch the news, if you're home, you watch TV. But then that also shows online. Right, right, yeah. right. So ngayon, medyo nagbabago na talaga. Yeah. Nagbabago na, kaya... She's on YouTube. <laughs> and you are on YouTube too. Rated Korean. I'm is everywhere. On I'm everywhere. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Uh -oh. Sabi nga nila, the best thing that you can teach your child is adaptation to change. Yeah. Wait, are you on TikTok na? Like you personally? Hindi ako sumasayaw. But you are? Meron ako, konti. W pero what do you do? Nagtatanong ako. Oh, tatlong you pwede. <laughs> tatlong tanong lang. Itatanong yeah, kita it, 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 TikTok yun. Correct. It, it, TikTok ah, ko yun. I see. Galing ha. Uh -oh. But um, it keeps changing. 
Hindi ka ba napapagod? Napapagod din, but more... Uh, napapagod ako, but then it keeps us young. Kasi you have to keep thinking, you're innovating, you have to be creative, sumasabay ka, ayaw mo maging luma, di ba? Eh sa atin, you know, mahirap yung... To be a husband is only because you don't want to move forward. Ay, I believe diba? that. If oh, you want oh. to move forward, you're forever there. Yes. Yeah. I believe that. Gusto yeah. kong last interview natin ay 100 years old ako. <laughs> At ikaw ang i-interviewin yeah. ko. Ibig sabihin, 50, ano ka noon? 95. Uh, oh. Ako magtatanong sa'yo. <laughs> kailangan interviewin mo ako pag 100 years old na ako, Karen. <laughs> Importante yan. Kasi kailangan mo alagaan si DJ. Uh-huh. At ako, kailangan yeah. nandiyan pa rin ako si for Pepe, and, Pepe Pilar. and Pilar. What are their formal names? Ang haba. Alam mo, really? pagkasulat nila ng formal names sila, pass your papers na, <laughs> hindi wala ng time. Mm-hmm. Oo. Masyadong mm-hmm. mahaba. So, pero ginawa namin yon para magbigay pugay oh, oh. sa lahat ng aming mga ninuno at isa pang episode yon si oh, Pepe and Pilar. Oo, oh, oh. Bahala na. But we'd like to thank Karen oh. because... Pinapunta pa niya tayo dito sa kanyang bahay, pinaghanda pa niya tayo, at marami pa kami pag-uusapan na hindi nyo na kailangang marinig. Okay? So, believe you me, it only happens on Corina Interviews, and next will be in her YouTube channel. Yeah, thank you! Oh, thank umo- you, Kate. Umoon na ako dyan, ah. Oo, oh, oh. umoon na ako dyan. Singin narinig nyo. Oo. Oh, oh. Ayan, tapos na show mo. Ha? Huh? Okay na. <laughs> Ang haba. Ang haba ng Nakuha show mo dito. ba yun? Isama nyo yun ha. Sa ending, ganyan siya. Talagang, okay cut. Okay na ba? At tapos na ba? Tapos na ba yung show dear? That's it. Ang tindi ng show na to. Yeah. Okay. David? Hi! Hi! Hi kuya! May oh. PS pa pala tayo dito. Hi David! Oh, Hi David! So he came from school. Oh, how was school? Wow. School was great. School was great. Oh, wait, really? So, you know, you know Corina Sanchez. Yes, I know you from Rated K. Oh, oh see, oh, diba? Oh, kita mo na. You know her from Rated K. Oh, she's pogi she's mo famous, pa na. anak. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pogi <laughs> sa personal. Ano ba yan? Yeah. Yeah. So do you have a girlfriend already? Uh, I'll have one in the future. <laughs> oh, magaling sumagot. Yeah. Oh, Alam mo, ka, ano? ito ang susunod kong i-interviewin, okay? okay. So, so what are your plans in the future and what is um, 4,276 divided by 2,000 <laughs> plus 775? Joke. Okay. Joke. Oh, alam din niya pag <laughs> joke. <laughs> joke. Oh, diba? Uh, it's great. Okay, so, abangan ninyo. I'm gonna have a one-on-one with David. For now, it's goodbye. Bye, guys. Say bye, bye. Kuya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Oh, eat with us. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Here, Kuya, yeah, just stay here. All right, there's a flowerless, ano, Kuya? Uh-oh. That's all.